Sometimes I go like this. But then I stop. This has been one of those times. This, uh, this next piece of material is uh, on a subject that most people can identify with. It's about losing things. You know, I don't like to lose anything. I don't like to lose anything. Because where is it? <laughs> See, basically, that's the part that bothers me the most. I'm a practical guy. Where is it? <laughs> I just had it. You know that feeling? It was just here. Where is it? I don't know. It's gone. That's true. It's lost. I know. Where could it be? Could be anywhere. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe, but not yet. It's gone. That's true. Are we going to go through this shit again? Where do these things go when they're lost? There are some things I don't even care if I ever get them back. I just want to know where the fuck they went. And losing things is one of those things in life that's even worse when you're a child. Much worse to lose something when you're a child because people get on you for it. You know, it's double jeopardy. Not only is the item gone, but you are catching shit from up here. You what? I lost my yo-yo. Well, where did you have it last? Hey, if I knew that, I would still have my yo-yo. Well, it must be somewhere right. Well, it just didn't get up and walk away. That one always got to me. It just didn't get up and walk away. One time I lost the cat. It just got up and walked away. And she actually started to say it. Well, it just didn't get up and... Hey, Ma, I think you figured this one out. Where do things go when they're lost? Do you know what I think? I think there's a big pile of things somewhere. I think there's a big constantly changing pile of things that are lost. You lose something, it goes to the pile. Then you say, oh, look, there it is. Right back from the pile. And you didn't even know there was a pile. And where is the pile? In heaven, of course has to be in heaven. That's the first thing that happens when you get to heaven. They give you back everything you ever lost. That's the whole meaning of heaven. You get back everything. Here you are, 79 pairs of sunglasses, 212 cigarette lighters, 4,983 ballpoint pens. And here's a jock strap we found on the Golden State Freeway. It appears to have mule hoof prints and chocolate sprinkles on it. Must have been quite an evening. <laughs> yes, you get back everything. You get back every... Well, not everything. You don't get the big things back. Good judgment, that never comes back. Your tonsils, your appendix, they keep those for display purposes. Virginity, you don't get that back because you were in such a big hurry to get rid of it in the first place. But you do get all your wallets. You get back every wallet you ever lost. No cash. It's just like Earth. <laughs> right. They keep the money as a prayer offering. Speaking of heaven, you know what else they have in heaven? They've got a special room for every balloon that ever got away. Yeah, next time you see a balloon drifting off by itself, relax. Soon it will be with its friends in the balloon room off the main hall in West Heaven. And that makes me happy. You know why? Because I'm a balloon guy. I am. I don't mind admitting it right in public. I'm a balloon guy. I love a balloon. You know what I say? I say, give me a balloon. Sometimes I say it loud. Give me a balloon! Most people don't pay any attention to me. Let's get back to losing things. Have you noticed some people, when they lose something, the first thing they say is it was stolen? That's their first reaction. Who stole it? It's an ego defense. They can't stand the fact that they might have been stupid enough to have lost something. Had to have been stolen. Even if it's something that nobody would really want. Hey! Hey! Who stole my collection of used bandages? 
And they also got away with my nude pictures of Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> Do you ever notice this when you've lost something? That the longer you look for it, the stranger the places get that you're looking. <laughs> you look at the strangest goddamn places after a while. You have to. Why? You've already looked in the easy places. Those are the first places we look, the obvious places. People say to each other, well, I've looked everywhere. Well, apparently not. Goddamn thing is still gone, isn't it? Let's keep looking in obvious places. I'll look in the furnace, you check the cesspool. You look in the strangest places. Did you ever look in the freezer for your car keys? You have to, why? They might be in there. You wouldn't want to pass up a nice obvious place like a freezer, would you? You can picture them in there. That's, you can see them in there. That's what the mind is for, picturing where you left your car keys. You can believe anything. You can follow the logic all the way back to the supermarket. I came out of the supermarket. I had the frozen banana guacamole in my hands. I drove home, got out of the car with the banana guacamole in my hand. I had my keys in his hand. I put the banana guacamole in the freezer. I probably just dropped the keys in there too. Let's go take a look. Oh shit, they're not in there. I could have sworn I left those keys in the freezer. And hey, who stole the banana guacamole? <laughs> you look in the strangest goddamn places. Do you ever find yourself looking in a suit you haven't worn in 10 years for something you just had 20 minutes ago? You have to. Why? Six more pockets wouldn't want to pass them up, would you? Or else you wouldn't be able to say, I've looked everywhere. And by the way, while you're in the closet, check the watch pocket of your grandfather's World War I uniform. You just might have handed him the keys before the Battle of Verdun. Here's another thing happens when you're looking for something. Do you ever notice that you'll be looking for something, you might be out in the garage, and every now and then you'll go back and look where the thing ought to be? You'll go right like, from the garage, you'll walk back and look in the top drawer. Nope, not back yet. <laughs> you're convinced that St. Anthony will bring those keys back while you're in the goddamn garage. And of course, if you're looking for car keys, your pocket is one place where you have to look at least six or seven hundred times. <laughs> You wear out the cloth in your pocket. Oh, jeez, I had them. They were right here, you know. And I usually, usually I'll put them in here. See, I get out of the car. I have them. Hold on. See, now then, hold on. No, usually, see, now hold on. Wait a minute. Wait. No, no. But maybe I'd sneak up on them. No, they're not in there. I don't know what the hell I did with them. I had them, you know. Hold on. I had, wait, what? Maybe they fell upwards. Maybe they fell upwards and stuck to some bubble gum. Hold on. Maybe for the first time in my life, I dropped them down near my balls. No, 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 no. Well, your imagination runs away with you. Well, those are easy things. Car keys, those are common. Sometimes it's an unusual item that's missing, like the couch. <laughs> Did you ever come home and the goddamn couch is gone? Where's the couch? I don't know. It's gone, that's true. Where could it be? Could be anywhere. Maybe it'll come back, maybe, but no, not this, too big. Nothing over six feet ever comes back on its own. Well, it was here this morning. Well, of course it was here this morning. There'd be no sense in mentioning the fact that it isn't here now unless it had been here this morning. Fuck you, I'm tired of your shit. Why don't you take your logic and go to bed? I can't. Why not? I sleep on the couch. Tightly. <laughs> right. Well, you know.